see the linebacker bite, break open, and catch that pass and go. Oh, you're talking about the 80 yard touchdown? Oh, I just seen daylight and I just said that run. I, uh, I was looking at the screens, how far he was. I said, I just got to pick it up and keep it going. Kellen, you talked about how you've kind of adjusted your running style, trying to be a little more downhill and stuff. How much of you feel like that was what worked for you tonight? And how much have you seen that just sort of help your game the last sort of couple of weeks? Oh, a lot. You know, teams pre previously stacked the box. So I can't be bad to uh, make too many moves. I just got to be decisive, see the hole, and just hit it and get what I can get. Offensive line kind of mix and match with some guys out tonight. How do you feel like they performed? Uh, pretty well. You know, it can be better. I always can be better, even from a win. Uh, we're just going to go over the tape and see what we can improve. Not just yourself, but uh, Nick and, and it's Tommy. How do you feel, how do you feel y'all are running the ball the last several games? Oh, real good. You know, once we click, like I said, I think we can run the ball with anybody. You know, once we get that confidence, I think we get to roll it. With uh, the way Tommy's run the ball the last couple of weeks, how much does that either open things for you or y'all in the pass game or anything like that? Oh, a whole lot. You know, teams. Teams is not trying to let me get to the edge. You know, they all flowing to me, so it opened up a ton and time to capitalize on it, which is amazing. With a bowl game and everything else kind of riding on this game on Thanksgiving night now, just what's kind of the mindset in the locker room now? I'm locked in. I'm focused. I know what it means. Yeah. I've been here long enough. As a guy that has been here and you've played in this game a couple times now, what's your message to the guys that haven't played in the game and are going to see the Egg Bowl rivalry for the first time? Oh, I already told the younger guys. I said this week is one of the weeks you can't play around with. You know, this is basically one of the Super Bowl for us, and that's a championship for us. That was a big rivalry. You know, got to take this seriously. Mention the young guys. How do you get a guy like Tommy Stevens ready? Um, oh, I been told him. I said you haven't seen a rivalry game until you've seen the A ball. And I told him it means a lot to these fans, so you cannot go out there and lose the game. After some of the slow starts this season, how do you stress to even the veterans, young guys, everybody that you can't start slow this week? That you've got to come out and want this game more. Um, we got a lot of guys that's still here, like Daryl Williams. He's been preaching constantly about this game, even in the, um, after the win. So we got a big one this week. <clears throat> so you got to start off fast. They got to expose the offense itself so we can't get down here at all. They've got the benefit of an open day. You guys played. Would, would you rather have played or would you rather have a bye week kind of heading to the Egg Bowl? Well, I don't matter to me. At the end of the day, you still got to play the game.